Hi guys, and a big, huge welcome to the Bliss and Thrive podcast. It's your host, Karis Anderson here, and helping motivate you on your health and fitness journey, give you some inspiration, and just have a good old chin wag, basically. So today we're going to talk about the scales, the bathroom scales. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you need them? Should you just throw them out the window? Let's get into it. So this topic of the scales has two camps of people who love their bathroom scale, can't live without it, and people who are like, yeah, that thing is a bitch. So let's see what camp you fall into. Um, First of all, I wanna tell you a little bit about my story with the scale. I do not own bathroom scales at the moment, and I haven't done for years. Why? Because I just couldn't care less how much I weigh. The only time I weighed myself recently was when I was pregnant. I had to go to the doctor's office and weigh myself each week. And there was one week actually where he told me that, oh, you've gained a bit of weight this week. Like he made me feel like I'd gained too much weight and I freaked out. And next time I went into the doctors, I didn't want to look at the scale. I don't want to know how much weight I'm gaining in this pregnancy. I know I'm healthy. I know I'm fit. And if you saw me when I was pregnant, I did not gain too much weight, I promise you. And I had a very small bump. So I'm not really sure what that was all about. But I got that feeling again of looking at the scales, not liking what you see and spiraling. So in the past, I was a dancer for 10 years, as many of you know now. And sometimes on contract, we would get weighed every single week and you would have that weight written down and they'd make sure that you don't fluctuate Um, within five pounds of your initial weight of hiring. So you were very focused on how much you weigh. And we had to write how much we weighed and how tall we were um, and everything on our CV. So you might not even get um, a look in at a job. You might not even get an invite to an audition based on your weight on your CV without them even looking at how well you dance. This is insane. I don't know if the industry is still like this, but this is what it was like back in my 20s. Um, it's not that long ago, but probably, yeah, I'm just old now. <laughs> a lot of my dance career was very focused around how much you weigh, what you look like, blah, blah, blah. Now, as a adult, and yes, I'm in the industry still of like what you look like because I am a weight loss coach when we come to the crux of it all, but bloody hell, I just do not care how much I weigh. I don't care. I care how I feel and I care about how I look and I want to be fit and in shape and be a good role model um, and I enjoy eating well and I enjoy training. So why does the weight matter? In saying that, I am not on a weight loss journey and I know that maybe if you're listening to this, watching this, or you are one of my clients in my programs, you're probably on a weight loss journey. And then... We need some point of measurement to make sure that what we are doing is working. So the scales can be brought into that. When clients come on for me, I also need to know how much you weigh so I can figure out your nutrition, figure out your calories and your macros. But I know weighing yourself can be such a sore point for people because we have this emotional attachment to the scale. Jump on the scale in the morning. If it's good, then we have a great day. If it's like, oh, we've gained weight, we have a rubbish day. And I bet you when you see that you've gained weight, you just want to start eating more because you feel like, damn it, all that hard work I've been doing, I've gained weight, I'm just going to eat more food. I know this happens. I know it happens. Now, the thing is, when you weigh yourself on the scale, the result you're looking for is to see how much fat you've lost because that's your aim of the game, right? Weight loss is actually fat loss. But what we're actually weighing on the scale is our muscle mass, our you know, bone density, our contents of our tummy and our bowel, do you need a big poo? Measuring our water retention, any inflammation in our body. So many different factors go into what's on that scale. Don't forget, it fluctuates with time of the month as well. And we always seem to forget this. And we weigh ourselves, and we're like, damn it, I didn't lose any weight this week or I've gained weight, I don't understand. Is it your time of the month? All right, there we go. So, so many factors go into that number that you're gonna see on the scale. So it shouldn't bother us, right? It's just a number, but it does bother us. And if it does bother you, 
then definitely weigh yourself less. Maybe you just need to keep a check on things, but there's other ways we can do this, right? Looking in the mirror, taking a photograph, comparing photographs side by side. Women are always shocked and they think they haven't lost weight and I compare their photos side by side and say, look, and because their weight on the scale has not moved that much, because they've gained muscle and burnt fat, the difference between the before and after picture is amazing, but the difference on the scale might not always match. And everybody's different because everyone's got a different level of fat to lose and, and gains muscle at different rates. And you just shouldn't compare your journey to anyone else's. But don't let that scale dictate how you feel. So many things in your life are incredible and they are not measured by the scale. You are an incredible person. I bet you are a kind person. I bet you're an intelligent person. I bet you love your family, that you're a great mum, daughter, wife. I bet that you have so much to offer to this world. And when you step on that scales on the morning, there's no barometer of what an incredible person you are. It's literally just measuring your body mass against gravity. That's it. If you are improving yourself for your health, for your confidence, for your ability to say, I've bloody done this and I look after myself and I'm proud of myself and my body, then we don't need to be affected by the number on the scale. And if you are, just don't get on, don't weigh yourself, it's not worth it, okay? We can use a measuring tape, we can use photographs, we can use this lovely thing of tuning in with how you feel. How do you feel? Do you feel like you've had a good week? Do you feel energized? Does your mood feel good? Are your hunger levels good? Are you feeling that your body just feels that nice tighter feeling? Are you feeling a bit sluggish actually? Are you feeling a bit bloated? Are you feeling a bit weighed down and heavy? Let's gauge, let's tune in with our bodies and see how we feel. This is so useful to know how we feel without a scale telling us how we feel, okay? That's so important to tune in with that. So maybe it is you need to throw your bathroom scales out that blooming window or maybe it is that you can detach from it, just see it as a unit of measurement and I'm just gonna weigh myself once a week. You need to remember all the other things that affect the scale when you get on it and you need to remember what an amazing person you are without that scale telling you how much you weigh and what amazing things you're doing for your health and fitness that are not tied into your weight or your looks but how you feel. All right, so hopefully that helps you with your dilemma with that blooming bathroom scale and I hope you move in to your weight loss journey in a more positive way. If anyone needs help with their weight loss journey, get in touch with me. I love to help people with this stuff. Um, you can check out all my links in the description or you can email me info at Kara Sanderson. I'm on Instagram, Kara Sanderson, and you'll find me everywhere. Anyway, go out and have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you in the next episode.